what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Check it out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Beach tanning, you know what I'm saying? Catching some rays on the beach, you know what I'm saying? Oxemen makes me look really pretty. Oxemen girls are pretty. Oh, you like my skin? You like my skin? My skin. Yeah, yeah. My skin. Oxemen. 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 Look at me like my dresses. audience stole Glenn's watch. We don't know who it is. It's an expensive but, watch, too. Well, I really like it. Yeah, apparently yeah. somebody took his watch when he was, everyone was coming in, shuffling in. There's pickpockets or something, and somebody took his watch away from him. Can't believe it. And I don't know what it, how that could happen, but Glenn, obviously you're pretty mad about that, but I, I really want to tell you right really now, mad. I want to tell really you right bad. now, Glenn, that you don't have to worry about it at all, Glenn. You don't have to worry about it at all, because I haven't had a way of getting your watch back, Thank because you. I happen to have a watch much, 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 much with me, and we're we're gonna go to the audience with the watch, 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 watch. Go to the, come up to the audience. We're gonna come out to the audience here, and we're gonna get your watch back with the watch, 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 watch. And if, and if you, and if you stupid dummies think that you can take my friend's watch away, I'm gonna show you how stupid you are. Because, because nobody comes along and takes away my friend's watch. Because if they, if they don't even realize that I have a watch, 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 watch with me, and it's so stupid. And if you took his watch away, I don't know if you're the one yet, but if you took it away, you're so stupid for taking it. And you're such a stupid dummy. And stupid dummies take watches away. Just a bunch of dummies. I bet you right now they're thinking that, oh no, I got the watch. Oh no, I didn't know he'd have a watch. Watch, watch, watch with him. Oh, I was, well, oh no, when I stole the watch, I wasn't I'm sorry, honey, it's our first date. When I stole the Glenn. It's just, it's just 
just doing it for TV. You didn't know how to watch much, much, much. <laughs> just doing it for TV. Do you like hugging? Oh, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> get a lot of hugs? No, no, no. Yeah. When was the last time you hugged? Well, I probably hugged a girl, hurt my sisters or something like that, but never hugged, you know, a guy. I mean, just <laughs> well, my brother sometimes, you know, if you, he lives in, he lives in St. Louis, and sometimes we, we get together and we're just kind of glad to see each other. You right. kind of get together. Do you hug a lot of guys? No, no, no. no. Pretty fun, though, eh? Oh, it's all right. <laughs> you think it's sort of romantic, what we're doing? No, yeah, it seems kind of, I don't know, it's kind of strange. Maybe romantic, though? Yeah, I don't know. A little bit, eh? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Do you love me? <laughs> well, I don't hate you. <laughs> I don't hate you, either. Okay. Do you think I'm sexy? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. What do you mean that? Uh, do you think I'm sexually attractive? Well, I never looked at you like that. I mean, I just, <laughs> you're all right. Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> Be honest, though. Am I yeah. sexually attractive? Or, to you? You're not bad. <laughs> you're not bad either. In fact, I, I, I say you're a far, far better than not bad. My name is, my name is, my name is, my name is Chicago Heights, Mayor Angelino, and I, and I came in for a minute because I got something that I want to show. It, it looked like this, and looked like that, and looked like this, and looked like that. I got a card, my card, here it is. It was a three and a four, that was a seven, I lost. <laughs> it was a gold card. <laughs> and I got some more friends, and they're good. And I got some more friends, and they're good. And I got some more friends, and they're good. And they got some friends, and they're still good. <laughs> it's like this. Hello. And now look at it. One there, one there, one there. And then there's, and there's around here. And then there's around here. Go this way, this way, this way. Not, not dash. What, 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 what? Not, not dash. One, 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 three, three, three. Hello. What's up, dude? <laughs> that's another one. That's an Indian, Indian head. What is it? Indian arrowhead? What's my car? I don't know. The R. That's Rivers and that's A.S. And that's, I gotta cut my nails sometime. And one minute, like, one thing I have to have, that's a skate key. I gotta take my skates off and put yours, fix them. I need your money bad. <laughs> <laughs> we play marbles in my world, but don't play with me. Yours is one way, and if I hit yours and break, I win. <laughs> And the Clockwork Orange was now made, really made in 1963, when Jimi Hendrix and uh, John Joplin and a few others, John Lennon and, and uh, Edgar Winters, Johnny Winters, they were good. But you know, they drove them so insane, so all of a sudden, I had to finish whatever who wanted to come in. Clockwork Orange is a good movie. If ever it comes back out, please remember, the orange is the sun, the rest of it is the clock. <laughs> What you're saying. All right. We want to talk a little bit about some of the signs here from the Waffle House. You were nice enough to bring them in because we really like some of the catchy slogans and uh, phrases that you have on all the signs at the Waffle House. Are you responsible for these signs? That's right, yeah. Armand. What's this one here? Is the original Canadian Waffle House says coffee? This one, as you can see, it means what I just told you: eighteen, twenty thousand coffee a week. That's why, because that, it's a different coffee. Right, and that would describe why you're selling so many, because the coffee is out of this world. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that would almost imply to me that the coffee is better than anything tasted before on this planet. Because uh, it comes from out of the uh, out, out of the world. It comes, it comes from a little country. Yeah. And it's made specially for us. But it's out of this world. It's off, it, almost like that country wasn't even part of this world anymore. It's not, because it's you. <laughs> right, exactly. That's exactly what I meant, actually. <laughs> And we have this one here. This is a really good sign, too. Breakfast any time of the day. And look what it says at the bottom there. Fantastic. It's true. We even guaranteed our uh, breakfast. Huh? If it's no good, you don't pay. Do you like the taste of, of breakfast? It's that's the best meal of the day. It's, what, is, what is breakfast to you? 
Uh, breakfast is something that you'll get. But what is breakfast, though? It's fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a lot of fun. Yeah, and we invite you to come in and try it. We're having fun. a lot of fun here today. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Look how much fun we're having, Armand. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so when did you get involved with the Waffle House yourself, though? Uh, since uh, 1981. Mm -hmm. 1981. Actually, oh, this is something else I think. Of. One, one last sign, okay? And then we'll talk about 1981 for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Steak. Steak, one word, it's the best. That's right, because we believe in our product and we feel we do the best steak and town. See, see, but Armand, this is the reason that I wanted, really, really wanted to talk about the Waffle House. Because to me, and I, see, I'm not really that good at grammar and stuff like that. <laughs> okay, but I, I noticed though, to me, I, I, whenever I saw this, I saw steak, one word, it's the best. <laughs> There is no second best. You have to be the best. Right. If you want to sell it, you have to be the best. Yeah. So then this, the, is the, I'm assuming the author meant that the steak, the word steak is the one word. That's right. It's right. a one word. <laughs> and those are the three words then. Yeah. It's the best. Because <laughs> uh, I would have, uh, is this just me? I don't want to all like, all creative control on the Waffle House or anything. But to me though, I would have thought it would have been neat to, if it's a steak, three words. <laughs> it's the best. Next time we'll do it especially for you and we'll come back on your show. Okay, that'd be great. That'd be great. What do you got now? No. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. At least you should have had one. Undies! I've got some undies! I've got some undies, Armand! I've got some undies! Oh! Happy! Thanks so much for coming on. <laughs> Armand Bernari. See you later, okay? Hey, I'll see you later, eh? I'll see you later. I am Scuba Hood. I steal from the poor. I give to the rich. I'm Scuba Hood. I steal from the poor and I give to the rich. Shut the camera off. It's a noble cause. Yep. I steal from the poor, I give to the rich. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Scuba Hood because I steal from the poor and I give to the rich. Cleaning out all the coins that were dropped in. That's that what he's doing. Why? Is he going to raise money doing this? No? He's going to make a part. Hey, I was going to cut the camera off. Sorry? Can you cut the camera off? This money goes to charities, right? Yeah. Yeah, I steal from the charities. I steal from the poor and I give it to the rich. Okay, well, I go to the bank. See the bank? Essentially, I work for the bank. You never, ever, ever do this again, okay? Yeah. That is not cool. I steal from the poor and I give to the rich. Who are you? What's your name? Scuba Hood. No, what is your real name? Scuba Hood. And I give to the rich? No. I'm going to the bank now and I'm going to give them Are you going to be more clever? What is his real name? Oh, okay, I'll give you my real name. Doug Fisher. <laughs> Doug? Doug Fisher. What's your address, Doug? Okay. I don't want to tell you one more time to turn that camera on, okay? It's been a pretty good day for Scuba Hood. It's been a pretty good day for the rich. And not a very good day for the poor. 
All that's left to do now is to go drop this money off at the bank, where the rich get richer, poor get poorer. I'd like you to have this. I get to have this. Put that in your coffers. Okay. I'm Scuba Hood. Scuba. I steal from the poor and I give to the rich. I'm not rich. Put that in your coffers. <laughs> Hello? Hey. Right now? Are you sure? Okay, I'm coming over. Okay. If I could tell you to jump off the bridge, I should. I wouldn't want anyone to send you flowers. You want to hurt me? Desert me? Well, kick in the door. I've been waiting for hours. There's nothing, nowhere. Doing this? Yeah. Okay. You know what this means to me? I know what it means to you. I know it means a lot. Thank you. So let's. You know, let's do it. Hey, okay, let's go. Thanks. All right, Glenn. I want you to do it for me, baby. Do it for me. Come on, baby. <laughs> The pictures that I took of Glenn in the shower are really popular in this town, and already people are coming. Amongst here. the gay community, they're just. I mean, everyone's. I've had requests. I just can't keep them. Like, I, I think we ran out of one print entirely. Of, uh, the, the original of was sold by accident. Yes. The Humplex shower. Print? Yes. Yes. So they're really popular in the gay community. Very popular. Yes. Five dollars each. Three picks for twelve ninety-five. See Humplex in his filthiest poses yet. Well, that's great. Thanks. So uh, we'll tell Glenn that these are in the window. Okay. We'll tell Glenn. I may not recognize him if he's dressed. Yeah. <laughs> roll, roll. What? I'm going to get the pictures before the store closes. I wanted to, what are you talking about? Oh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. I, um, I was going to Montreal today for a little business trip. And I got back and there's like five voicemails of calling me porno king today. <laughs> there's um, pictures of me yeah, they in know. a bathtub. They know, we went there yeah. already. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah that's what I figured. Oh my right here it says God. right here it says see Humplick in his filthiest poses yet. Glenn Humplick shower photos. This guy right here, Glenn Humplick. Hey Glenn! 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 You're right beside the Naked City calendar. Oh, that's great. They're uh, yeah. pretty nice. Must be an honor for you. I think I'll be going now. Thank you. No problem. It's really embarrassing buying condoms sometimes, so I'm gonna bring the camera with me just so it's less embarrassing. Hi. I'm just gonna buy some of these condoms. Here, I'm just gonna buy some of these condoms. Yeah? Yeah. So, why is he so cute? Just buying some of these condoms here. Because I'm planning on making love to a woman tonight. And um, I'm really excited about that. And condoms, they help prevent sexually transmitted diseases and pregnancy. And both of those things, I don't think I'm really mature enough to handle at this stage of my life. Although Al Capone did die of syphilis, so there is an element of glamour to that. So I'm just gonna buy these condoms. Do I pay for them over there? Yeah. Okay. So you're probably going to visualize me making love to a woman when I walk away, and that's fine. I know that's probably a hard thing to wrap your head around, visualizing that, but... I'll, just pay, I'll pay for them over here, okay? I'm just gonna buy these condoms. 
because I'm planning on making love to a woman tonight, and I'm really excited about that. Okay? All right. You're probably saying to yourself, boy, who's the lucky lady who's going to get to spend the evening with this man of steel? Anyways, I'll just pay for those. Okay. Is that everything? Must be kind of weird for you. Must what? be kind of weird for you holding those condoms, considering we both know where they're going to end up. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's kind of a weird situation for me, too. You know, Carrie? Uh, Carrie, right? Yeah. Your name's Carrie, right? Yes, it is. I figure I should know your name since you're touching my condoms. <laughs> What's that? You really think that's funny? Buying condoms? No, what the, the way you're talking. I think it's really important. It's disgusting. I don't think it's, I think it's important to buy condoms because it's the 90s <laughs> and sexually transmitted diseases. How about trying abstinence? Abstinence? Yeah. Do you wear that? <laughs> Do you wear abstinence? What is that? Is it like a jockey strap? <laughs> okay. Thanks. I'll try that out. I'll try that abstinence thing out. I guess you probably, do you sell that here too, abstinence? Okay, thank you very much. See you, thanks for the suggestion. Glenn Hoplick, right? Glenn Hoplick. Yeah, 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 that's me. That's you, that's Proud you. Proud young man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, wonderful, you did wonderful. Yeah. Well, you know, very nice. Trying to do my best. Very nice. Trying to do my best. Lovely. Yeah. Very, very, very pretty. That's enough. Very pretty. Yeah. All right. So that's it for another show. Thanks for tuning in. Now we're going to hear from this minor tremble. To having lots of fun, but this is not my tongue. 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 A puppet's silver muscles flash. Impressive, it'll never last. She takes a multi vitamin. them in, but then she hooks it up with all that other stuff, there's no way that it's coming in. This